Welcome to part two of my test of Remington's Golden Saber 357 Magnum 125 grain brass jacketed hollow point. This is a three part series where I'm going to be testing the same defensive ammunition from Remington in three different barrel lengths. Part one featured the LCR with a 1.875 inch barrel length. Today will be part two. I will be shooting it from the Ruger SP 101 with a 2.25 inch barrel. Part three, which will be coming hopefully next weekend, will be shot out of a Ruger GP100 with a 4.2 uh, inch barrel. Sorry. So with that said, I ran this through the chronograph earlier today. Uh, five shots, average of 1,067 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 314 foot-pounds. I will say for those of you who watched part one, you might remember that the average velocity out of the shorter Ruger LCR barrel was 1,077 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 322 foot-pounds. I was a little bit surprised by adding a little bit of barrel length that I got a decrease in uh, velocity. And so the only thing I can really say to that is it was about 12 degrees cooler today when I was running it through the chronograph. It was 58 degrees and it was about 70 degrees when I did the LCR test. So that could be part of it, but even still I was expecting a little bit more velocity. Again, Remington advertises 1,200 feet per second out of a 4-inch barrel. So by taking about 2 inches off the barrel, you're losing about 125 feet per second on average for the shorter barrels here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how it did with the ballistics gelatin. Okay, so as you saw, it penetrated the full 16 inches of the block and went into the second milk jug, or actually it was a Tropicana jug. I've done a few tests and I'm running out of milk jugs now. So you can see here the bullet entered from the left, and I'll just show you the quick wound cavity there. And you have all 16 inches. So let's take a look at here at the top. And I apologize, this block is starting to get a little bit cloudy. I'm, I'm probably going to melt it down one more time. I have another one on order. So as you can see here, the track, it, it's kind of backwards to what we usually see, where the first six inches, there's almost no energy being dumped into the block, and there's no, and the wound cavity isn't expanding at all there. And then right about the six inches, you start to get that expansion, and the wound cavity opens up. And there you see it at the widest point it is about one and a quarter, it's not coming very clearly on the camera here um, and then that continues on until about 12 inches and it trails off there as well and you see at the end there there's a big plug of denim make a better view here um, luckily I was able to retrieve the bullet so let's cut this guy open, take a look at that big uh, expansion cavity there and see how it looks and this is kind of what it looks like here and so I thought this was a little bit interesting, and I'm going to preface and say this, like probably most of you already know, I'm not an expert and never will claim to be. I've just read as much as I can find on terminal ballistics and wound ballistics and wanted to kind of see what's going on with different bullets and always found it interesting. So I thought possibly what could have happened here, since this happened six inches in, that the bullet began to tumble. Um, it looks like that could be a possibility. But with these here, and I don't know, it just doesn't look like tumbling with this little, like, almost triangle shape here. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. If anyone knows, please comment and let me know because I'm very interested here. But you can see, again, there's a lot more burning. Pretty large wound cavity. Uh, it's going to measure at its widest point, an inch and a half almost. So just, I mean, it looks very devastating. A little odd that it happened six inches in. And again, here we go. Focus there. Show you this one. If I break it apart here, kind of see what's going on. So again, just real deep. Possibly could be tumbling. I'm not sure. So there's a lot more denim pushback in here. I usually see that a little bit sooner. But again, this triangle shape's a little interesting. So that's that main expansion cavity. So I have the bullet. Let's weigh it and take a look. So I just wanted to show you guys this here. So I recover the bullet, no expansion, 
I don't know, hopefully you can make it out there, but it does look like there's a little bit of denim. I haven't washed it out. I'm going to wash it before I weigh the bullet. Um, I guess it's going to weigh pretty much 124.9 grams, but we'll see. So I just wanted to show you that the bullet did not expand over penetrating, but that wound cavity still looked pretty, pretty devastating. Okay, so here we have it. Let's get a weight. 125.5. Probably didn't get all the denim out of it. So I'm not going to do a size on this bullet because it didn't expand, so it probably didn't change size much. But I'll give you my final thoughts. Being my third 357 Magnum test, again, Golden Saber did not expand, uh, I believe. The first one didn't find the bullet, so I'm not 100% sure, but it's my guess. I had very favorable results with the 38 plus P round with great expansion, great penetration, and a really great wound track. This round had a better wound track than the LCR, but failed to expand. Interest, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with the GP100 and the 4.2 inch barrel. Also, to note, my ballistics gel is still calibrating to roughly about where it was when I got it. And it's kind of getting to the end of its life. As you can see, there's little pieces in it, and I, I've changed my method for melting it down, where before I was straining it, but even with the strainer, little pieces of stuff would still get in there and kind of clouds the ballistics gel, and it's starting to turn yellow. So they said you can get usually six to eight, and this is, I think, number nine for it um, in the next test. So I have another one in order, so hopefully I'll be using that again, and maybe I'll give a fourth test to the Remington Golden Saber. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. If not, comment and let me know why.